now that we've created a model for our user, we need a way to access that model through our web browser to our, our web server. And so we're going to talk about different ways to connect with and receive information from a browser using this idea of a represent representational state transfer, more commonly known as REST. And so this is the Wikipedia page that points to, to REST. I want to specifically point to one small part of that, uh, which is this table right here. What we are going to do is we need to be able to come up with URIs or URLs that reference our models and combine them with HTTP methods or requests from the browser and the combination of that method and the, the URI is going to give a specific meaning to that request. Some of them are pretty obvious when we have a delete request that we want to actually remove elements from our, our server, whether it's all the elements in a collection or a particular member of a collection. Notice that these are in two lines because this top line right here represents a URL that represents a collection of resources. So in our example so far we only have mem we only have users and so the collection would be all of the users on our website whereas this line represents an item in a, a collection so in that case it would represent a particular user in our website and we can do different things with that uh, correspond to all of a resource versus one element in, in, in a resource. And so we can combine our four most common HTTP methods with each of those two types of, of resources and get different types of actions. And I want to go through each of these eight very uh, specifically because we want to be able to support those. Um, so when we do a get method we're asking for either a list of all of the elements in that collection or for the information concerning a particular element in the collection. And this is going to retrieve that information from the server as opposed to a, a put or um, a post. Now we're updating information and the difference between put and post is that uh, put is a replacement mechanism, whereas uh, post is a creation mechanism. Uh, so, so put is going to replace the entire collection, and post is going to create a new element in that cl collection. So, uh, notice the difference here: post in, on a resource collection actually creates a new element. All the rest of these deal with the entire collection. And down here, when we do a, a put on that item, now we're replacing or updating that member of the, the collection <coughs> as, as well as here put. Now we treat that as a sub-collection and we're putting a new member in that. So this you could think of if you had a, um, a author's URL, we could create a new author, and then if we had the URL for that author and you post it on there, maybe that would be a new book written by that author. Um, but as this points out, we don't generally use this. In, in our Rails world, we don't uh, use this, and we actually don't use this. We, we don't allow someone to replace an entire collection with one fell swoop. And in fact, in this box, we actually use the patch method rather than put method, because usually we don't want to replace an entire item in our collection. We want to update it, one small part of it. So we're not trying to replace the whole thing. We're trying to take what we have and just send an update. So a new name or a new email address, uh, an updated user photo or something like that might be an example where you're not replacing the entire uh, item but you're just 
updating a member of it. So uh, Rails is moving from a put mechanism to a patch mechanism to uh, reflect the nature of, of what uh, we do tend to do in, in this realm right here. And so let me point out uh, Rails has a mechanism of trying to set up those those routes um, to to take a request and that that's split up between a URL and a method and turn it into a a route so it knows the uh, controller that it should access and what that controller is asked to do and so there's a whole bunch of stuff here in this rails guide that talks uh, about that and you can uh, see that <coughs> there there are these tables that list this HTTP verb with a particular URL is going to tell us exactly what we want to do and notice that we're moving from put to patch and, and put here and I will go into more detail on this because that's a a very Rails specific thing and I want to understand how to do that but this re representational state transfer this restful information is what we want all websites to to be able to act like no matter whether they're a Rails site or a Django site or, or some other site this this is the preferred mechanism of web application development